Hey everyone, Dash Attack here. I noticed a mistake in my last video. I do apologize. Um, when I accidentally, um, when I recorded myself following the Sweet Baby Ink Detected group, I was actually unfollowing them. I've re, I refollowed them now, but no, I feel bad because like, you know, when I recorded that video, I had no idea this was going to be like some watershed moment in like the fight to like save gaming. And, uh, what do you know? Like it's getting so many followers now because the whole thing went viral because the assholes at sweet baby Inc. tried to, uh, get the, uh, the creator of this group banned and it created a strice hand effect. Boy, that escalated quickly. Though, something very interesting I've noticed in the discourse about Sweet Baby Inc. is that none of the games media seem to be running any, like, defense pieces as of yet. In fact, even all those, like, big publishers um, listed on their site, like Wizards of the Coast, Ubisoft, um, Square, I, they worked with Square Enix on Forspoken. We don't know if they worked on anything else. None of them are really coming to their defense. None! Which I find hilarious. See, this is what I'm talking about. None of these companies have made any statements about Sweet Baby Inc. defending them in this, like, onslaught on Twitter. They've been trending for days now. Days. The archive says, after seeing what's been happening this week, it'd be funny to revise the comic of someone digging up Gamergate's grave and owing Vivian James the stuff about Sweet Baby Inc. Grave Digger, most of the gaming sites went bankrupt. This is worse. I agree, it won't be Gamergate 2.0 until the media gets involved and starts to lie to cover the asses of Sweet Baby, which hasn't happened yet. But considering it's a lot of the same names as what kicked off Gamergate, I would not be surprised if they didn't go that route. Though a lot of these sites are dead now. True. <laughs> Wait till Monday, I shit you not, we'll see some variation of gamers are dead, but with more Trump and white people on it. Lol. They can't get involved if they hardly exist anymore. Yeah, and also, yeah, they missed the window. Like, they, they're, uh, they're toast. Ah, uh, yeah. God bless Elon buying Twitter. Oh, here's a sweet comment. Sweet Baby Inc.'s whole business model was to be a beta reader of scripts and offer changes. Heck, companies, you can get a legion of fans, influencers, and media commentators to do that for free without alienating garbage, but that's what you paid for? I like how Sweet Baby Inc. has the loudest, most annoying employees, but nukes all their social media because they can't take criticism. I'm ecstatic that Sweet Baby Inc. was exposed and there may be repercussions for companies that work for them. We got lucky. They are proud of their products and defend it tooth and nail on Twitter. How many companies are out there offering this service, movies, television? Also, apparently one of their uh, employees is an anti-Semite. Also, people are celebrating the fact that the guy who uh, founded the group was uh, <laughs> Brazilian. Sorry, but sweet baby gamers, the human sacrifices will... Oh, start? <laughs> oh, 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 they inverted the meme. Uh, it's funny. And if you type in hashtag I stand with Sweet Baby Inc., you will get no results. I am very curious what is going to happen in the next couple of days regarding Sweet Baby Inc. I think things are going to uh, take a change. Someone else is going to get involved on their behalf, and it's going to make everything worse. My prediction. Anyways, thank you all for watching this video. This has been Dash Attack. Please remember to like and subscribe, and don't forget to catch my 1K celebration panel Tuesday. I'll see you all next time.